Hi, I'm John Kewen, and today I'm going to use these red blue glasses to make 3D video using two cameras. Before we get started, if you like making stuff and you're into stuff like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer, and sometimes I like to push myself a little bit, so I try new things. And I've been trying like 3D photos. I just take 3D photos from my clients and then I send them these glasses. I'll just show you what I do for photography quickly. This isn't like a tutorial, but I'll just take a camera and just tell the couple to stand pretty still. And I'll just mimic both eyes with the camera. So I'll do like the red eye and the blue eye or blue eye and red, I don't know which way it is. So I just take two images and sometimes I'll take a few and then I'll pick the best ones or like, you know, one that gives a good 3D perspective. You just mash them together in Photoshop and you do some blending and it's like pretty easy. You could probably Google it yourself, but that's not what this is about. I want to do video and I want to use two cameras so that I can capture both frames simultaneously. Here's how I'm going to do it. I got this rig and I'm just going to mount two cameras. It's loud. Oh. So the idea here is I'm just going to mount both cameras on this thing. And then the goal is to get them to point kind of the same way so that they're framed the same way. And that's why I got this thing. You can kind of adjust it. And I've just programmed this button, like the shutter button to start and stop video and to focus. And I'm using the same lens and the same settings. Now to sync them, I could like just kind of press them both at the same time and hope that the frame starts at the correct time. Cause that'll be really important for 3d motion. Like if, if both eyes, like this is mimicking both eyes. If both eyes are kind of looking at different things at different times, you'll get this weird ghosting effect. And I don't want to do that. Another thing I'm doing is I'm going to shoot in the highest frame rate that these cameras do. And these only shoot at 60 frames a second as a max. So I'm going to shoot at 60 frames a second, which gives me kind of a bit more precision when I line up the frames. Um, even if I get these to sync fairly closely, they won't start at the exact same time. I wanted to make this a little easier. So I'm going to use this remote shutter port here. So I made up this cable that just connects both cameras together and it's bone simple, but it works like it actually works. So when I fire this shutter, this one will fire too. Let's test it. This one sounds a bit slower, but I don't know what that's about. Beep boop beep beep bop. Oh, this one was on bulb. So this also works for video. Let's try this out. All right, now it's time to try it. And if you have a pair of these, I suggest pausing the video and going and looking for them. Or if you don't, check out the description below. I'll link to some. Time to switch to this camera. Now, if you've got your glasses on, you should be able to see me in 3D. Ooh. And if you don't, you should be seeing like this blue red kind of like TikTok logo effect going on around my head. I think the more foreground stuff, the more 3D effect it is. Let's see if this, I hope this inspired you to try something else or to think outside the box a little bit. Uh, again, this is not like a photography channel. This will be a whole bunch of random things. Just me trying things. I've got like a thousand projects up in my brain. And I want to share some of them with you and hopefully it inspires you. Anyways, I have no idea if this works. Editor Ron here, this is crazy. This actually totally worked. John has no idea cause he didn't get to see it, but you need to tell him in the comments and like this video so that he makes another one because there's tons of potential with this 3D thing and it looks awesome. 